Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this using some of the hottest new makeup releases. So this is going to be part tutorial, part first impressions. I'll be using the new Sigma Ambiance palette. This is absolutely stunning. They did send me the entire Ambiance collection, but today I'm just using the eye palette. I might use one of the new lip glosses, but for my bronzer, blush, and highlight, I am going to be using this new palette from Benefit called Earth Angel Foroscope, and I'll be showing you the insides of this palette very shortly. And then I also have these new multi-sticks from Persona Cosmetics. They are supposedly for the eyes, cheeks, and lips, and they sent me two, one in the shade Dune and one in the shade Sahara. I purchased one of the new Too Faced Lip Injection Power Plumping Cream Liquid Lipsticks. I have the newly reformulated Laura Mercier Oil-Free Tinted Moisturizer. And then I also have the Hoola Glow from Benefit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this in this look or not, we shall see. So those are the new products I'll be using for this look, but I also have a couple, couple or maybe just one new to me products that I'll be using for this video. So the first thing I'm using is this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. As I mentioned moments ago, they did reformulate this. I was never a huge fan of the original Tinted Moisturizer. I know I'm in the minority. However, I just have such oily skin that Tinted Moisturizers have never worked for me. They always just disappeared after a few hours. They made me excessively oily, even if they were oil-free. And I also prefer a little bit more coverage than what most Tinted Moisturizers provide. Now that said, I have tried other brands tinted moisturizers or BB creams or CC creams that claim to have more coverage. However, they just never lasted on my skin. So to be honest with you, I don't have the highest hopes for this. I am using the shade 2W1 Natural. Now I'm going to apply this to half of my face just using my fingers. And as suspected, it's very light coverage, which I know a lot of people like. A lot of people love it, actually. They really love just a light coverage just to even out the skin tone, but I have things I need to cover, <laughs> and this isn't covering anything. <laughs> well, I'm looking at the reviews, and it does say sheer coverage, and the reviews are actually really, really good. <sighs> I'm just not a tinted moisturizer person. I think I just have to come to that conclusion. This person said sheer coverage, but I use a little more for medium coverage. Mm, I don't know. Let's try it a different way. I'm gonna try it with a sponge and see if I can get more coverage. Now, I don't know if those reviews were for the old formula or the new formula. I looked at the dates and most of them were recent, so I'm guessing it's the new formula. I don't hate this. It's just not what I'm used to. This is very much out of my coverage comfort zone. All right, I so badly want to add a foundation with more coverage, but for you guys, I am going to leave it as is, go through my day with only this on, and report back, let you know my thoughts after a full day's wear. But now I'm going to apply a little concealer. I don't have a new concealer to show you, so I'm just gonna apply a little NARS concealer and come right back. So now I'm gonna use one of these Persona bronzing sticks. I think I'm gonna use Dune. It's the lighter one of the two. Very cute packaging. Oh, uh-oh. I went to twist it up to take this little plastic cap off and the whole thing came out. That's not good. Yikes. Now, I have to say this. What could have happened with this bronzing stick is that it sort of got too hot in transit. I do live in Las Vegas when I received this box in the mail the other day. It had been easily 90 something degrees outside 
and often when I get packages in the mail, I can feel the products are hot. So I will put them in the refrigerator or the freezer. Unfortunately, our refrigerator died the other day. Thankfully, we have two mini fridges in the house, but I just never put it in the refrigerator and that could be why it did that because it just got too hot in transit. But it's still usable. It's very creamy. I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush and blend it out. I am really loving cream bronzers lately. Okay, this is looking very good. I'm gonna put a little bit down sides of my nose. And now to set that bronzer, I'm going in with a powder bronzer. This is that Foroscope Earth Angel palette I mentioned at the beginning. There's a little face chart here. You receive a full-size Hula bronzer, a full-size Honeymoon blush. Then there's also a Georgia powder and a cookie highlighting powder. I'm going to be using this whole palette a little later, but for now I'm just using the Hula bronzer to set the cream bronzer. I have no new brow products to show you today, so I just used what I had sitting here, which was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe, and then I set with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And now we are moving on to the beautiful palette. I am so excited to try this. I have no idea what look I'm going to do. I think I will start by applying the shade Days right under my brows. And then using the brush that comes in the palette, I am going to use the shade Basque and run that through my crease and onto the lid. Ooh, that is very pigmented. I really love Sigma eyeshadows. I think they're so, so good. This is such a great color too. Ugh, why do I always forget to zoom in? So sorry. I will zoom you in in just a moment. All right, so that shade Basque went all over my lid and up above my crease. And now I'm taking a smaller crease brush. This is a Sigma E33. And I am going to go into the shade Summer Solstice. Let's try that one. And this is going to go right in my crease like this. So I look straight into the mirror, push in where, if I had a crease, where it would be, and then just move the brush back and forth and back and forth. Just like I did with the first shade, but now I'm keeping it just right in this area. Notice how my wrist just keeps going back and forth and back and forth. And I'm holding the brush in the middle, not close to the front, right in the middle. And now I'm using my fingers. All these colors are so pretty. I just don't know which one I want to use. Oh my goodness, these shimmers. I'll do better swatches than this, but look at how gorgeous these are. So here's candlelight. This is stunning. And I'm going back with a crease brush, blending it out again. And now for eyeliner, I'm going to dampen a brush and use the shade Sunspot. Now I'm not getting a ton of color from this shade as far as using it as eyeliner. And I'm also gonna take that along the lower lash lines just on the outer third to half. 
Oops, I lied. I'm bringing it in a little bit more. Something is going on with my camera today. It is having some focus issues. I'm going to take that shade Days once again, the first shade we used, and blend out the top of the eyeshadow. Now before I finish off the eyes and my face, I want to set my under eye area and the rest of my face using this Givenchy Loose Powder. It is called Prism Libre and it has four different tones of powder in it. There's a peach, an ivory, a yellow, and a lavender or lilac. And I just put some of everything in the lid. And this is actually not a first impression. I have tried this a couple times already. And I do really like it. The only thing is that it does have a serious fragrance to it. It is strong. Stronger than even the Huda Beauty powder that I love, but I always mention that that has a fragrance. This fragrance is just whew, over the top. And it's much more floral and I don't know. I definitely don't mind the fragrance of the Huda Beauty, but I mind the fragrance of this. It's just, ugh, it's overwhelming. But it is a beautiful powder, so if you do not mind fragrance, you might want to check this one out. All right, I kind of want to put something else along my lower lash lines, so I think I am going to try Midas, which is this sort of gold shade, and run that along the lower lash lines. And then for my inner corners, I'm going to use the shade Firefly. I think for the sake of time, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara off camera. And I'm also going to be applying these new Velour Vegan Luxe Lashes in the style Poker Face. I actually did a video in collaboration with Velour a couple of months ago. It was a how to apply false lashes video. If you haven't seen that, I will link it in the description box. I think you'll find it extremely helpful. And that was when they first were launching these vegan luxe lashes. And I thought I had tried all the styles, but I guess I haven't because I found this in my stash and I'm excited to try them. I know a lot of people are really excited that Velour has finally come out with vegan lashes. So I'm going to pop these on and then come back and finish off the face. All right, I am back and I cannot wait to do something with this hair. I really wanna try this Hoola Glow. I'm swatching it and I don't see anything. So let's just try putting it on. Oh, okay. Well, it's doing what it says it will. It is giving me a glowing bronze look. Which I like. This is pretty. That's why I don't live and die by swatches. I rarely judge a product by the swatches because sometimes they are like this. They don't swatch well, but they apply well. And sometimes the reverse is true. They can swatch really well, but that pigmentation and blendability for some reason doesn't translate to the face. So I'm glad I gave this a chance. It's really nice. I'm still going to apply highlighter because why not? It's in this palette, so we are going to use it. I actually have used the highlight shade Cookie before. It is very, very pretty. I have not used this blush shade before called Honeymoon. And this is a very pretty color. Love it. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of it and run it through my crease as well. And now I'm going to apply Cookie.
So it's time for lips, and as I mentioned earlier, I'm using the new Too Faced Lip Injection Power Plumping Cream Liquid Lipstick. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use a lip liner or not. Sometimes with liquid lipsticks, I don't have to. Ooh, this smells good. I do like the color. It is very pretty. And these are the two glosses from the Sigma Ambiance Collection, and I'm gonna use this one called Brilliance. All right, so this is the completed look. So this check-in happened a lot later than I expected it to. This was after about 14 hours of wear, and as you can see, there's pretty much no coverage left, which was not really unexpected. I have to say though that during the day, I thought my skin looked pretty good and very natural. As you just saw, I edited in my thoughts on the foundation or the tinted moisturizer after a full day of wear. And now I want to recap everything else I tried. First, the Sigma Ambiance Palette. This is definitely a winner. The shimmers are just stunning. The mattes were extremely pigmented, at least the ones that I tried, and they were very blendable. I was a little unimpressed with the shade Sunspot as eyeliner. I just struggled to get the depth of color that I wanted. So I probably next time will go over with a similar color pencil or perhaps I will use a plummy pencil first and then apply Sunspot over the top. Actually, I think I wanna try right now to use it just on the outer corners of my eyes. I'm just gonna pat it on, oh I can't see. Couldn't do it that way, I need a magnifying mirror. Yeah, it's fine when used just as eyeshadow, but for eyeliner, not so much. I may have messed that up a little bit because my lashes were in the way. I'm just gonna blend that out. So first impressions of this eyeshadow palette, very, very good. I am really excited to play around with this some more. And I also really like this Foroscope palette from Benefit. I know they've had a lot of similar palettes like this in the past, like Cheek Leaders and some other ones that had Hoola bronzer in them and some had Georgia and some had Cookie. So you may already have a variation of this palette in some form, but if you don't, I would definitely recommend this. It's $36, it is a $94 value. I believe this palette comes in three different variations. I recently received the Ulta catalog in the mail and I think that's what I saw. I will insert a photo of the three options if I did not already throw out the catalog. Are those things even called catalogs anymore or do they have a different name? Remember all those Victoria's Secret catalogs you used to get in the mail? Even if you never shopped with them, I don't know about you, but for me, I was receiving a Victoria's Secret catalog at least twice per week. The Too Faced Lip Injection Liquid Lipstick in Give Em Lip. I do really like the color. It does make my lips look a little bit fuller, but it could just be the liner and the gloss, not necessarily the lip product. Oh, the Givenchy Loose Powder, which was not a new product, but just a new to me product. I already talked about that during the application. I love the powder, I just would prefer it to not have that heavy fragrance. And the Sigma lip glosses, they are so pretty. This shade Brilliance is going to be a go-to gloss for me. It's not sticky. So that's it for another testing hot new makeup first impressions video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and join the Risa Does Makeup family. I do try to upload new videos at least twice per week. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter under the same username. It's all Risa Does Makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.